Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we shall quickly learn how to calculate the relative molecular mass or molecular weight of an given element or a compound. So before moving to the video, if you are new to the channel, do subscribe and press the bell icon so that you will get the notifications of all the videos we upload here related to GPSTR exam, CET and Central TET mainly of maths and science concepts. Come let's move into the topic now. Relative molecular mass. So before moving to the numericals to solve related to atomic weight of a given element or a compound, let us check out with this basics. We represent an element with mass number A and atomic number Z like this A, Z. Whereas mass number is the number of protons plus neutrons present in an atom. In case of an atomic number, it is the number of protons present in an atom. And we know that number of protons in an atom is equal to number of electrons. Okay, so let's check quickly with mass number, atomic number and how they are related to atomic weight. If you take an element for the first element hydrogen, mass number is 1 and we know let's check with the first atomic number for hydrogen 1 helium 2 lithium 3 beryllium 4 boron 5 carbon 6 nitrogen 7 oxygen 8 fluorine 9 neon 10 like this we have the atomic numbers in an orderly arrangement you know about the periodic table I'm not going deep into this as we're preparing for the exams we'll concentrate only on the important points and the mass numbers are like this mass number of hydrogen is 1 for helium it is 4 lithium 7 beryllium 9 boron 11 carbon 12 nitrogen 14 oxygen 16 fluorine 19 neon 20 if we check out with this atomic weight it is about 1.007 it is almost approximately equal to mass number atomic weight is almost equal to the mass number of this hydrogen check out with the next one it is 4.002 for helium mass number is 4 and atomic weight is 4.002 and for lithium here it is 7 mass number is 7 atomic weight is 6.941 so almost it is equal to 7 so we can write as 7 only beryllium mass number is 9 atomic weight is 9.012 so we can write as 9 only so, so when we check out like this with this chart or periodic table and we come to know that mass number of an atom is equal to the atomic weight of a given element of so we can write like this approximate value as a round off of the value for 20.17 for neon atomic weight is 20.179 we can write as 20 like this okay so in the following numericals we are going to use this atomic weights as round off form of this only so it is nothing but mass number only don't get confused okay come let's move to the solutions now relative molecular mass or molecular weight molecular mass is the average relative mass of a molecule of an element or a chemical compound as compared to the mass of carbon atom that is carbon 12 taken as 12 on the atomic mass unit scale so this is the expression or this is the definition for the molecular mass remember this and it is expressed in the formula like this molecular mass is equal to mass of one molecule of a substance divided by mass of 1 by 12th atom of carbon okay so remember this sometime might be asked for the multiple choice questions okay let us see an example molecular mass of carbon dioxide is 44 amu what is this amu atomic mass unit okay it means that a molecule of carbon dioxide means single molecule of carbon dioxide is 44 times heavier than 1 by 12th of the mass of carbon atom okay carbon 12th atom so this is what they mean so when we whenever we find the molecular mass or molecular weight of the given element 
so that we are comparing with the 1 by 12th of the atom of carbon so that much it is heavier of the 1 by 12th of the mass of carbon atom okay now let us learn how to calculate the relative molecular mass in case of numericals actually this numerical is given in the question paper of 2022 gpst exam model question paper okay calculate the relative molecular mass of nitrogen dioxide no2 atomic weight of nitrogen is given as 14 it is given there only so we know the formula that is molecular mass of nitrogen we can calculate in general here no2 you can divide this whether it is a single element or it is combined with it is of 2 3 how many elements are present there in case of nitrogen only one so for nitrogen here no2 n is only once it is written so you can write atomic mass of nitrogen plus for oxygen how many times it is there twice two times of atomic mass of oxygen okay if it is three times three four times four okay as we solve you will understand in a better way we'll check out with this first one so atomic mass of nitrogen is 14 they only have given plus two of atomic mass of oxygen we must learn by heart this atomic mass atomic weight or mass number of the given element okay for oxygen it is 16 it was about 15.999 so it is 16 so if it is given there you substitute the same value and 14 plus 216 are 32 so hence we get on adding this to 46 amu amu stands for atomic mass unit this is a unit for molecular mass if in the multiple choice question if it is not expressed with this unit simply they have given the answer as 10 unit 20 unit 46 unit if it is not given as atomic mass unit no problem you choose the answer with the unit only okay we shall move to the next numerical calculate the relative molecular mass of sulfuric acid h2so4 atomic mass of sulfur is given as 32 and for each time if it is asked for multiple choice you no need to write the formula and then enter you have to be little fast in finding all this okay you have to spend only half minute or less than half minute only for this calculation then only you can save time for other multiple choice questions so molecular mass of sulfuric acid we know since to, in order to explain you i have written all this and explaining okay here you see two hydrogen so two of what is uh, molecular mass for um hydrogen atomic mass atomic mass for hydrogen is 1 um, okay just 2 of 1 plus for sulfur it is 32 oxygen how many oxygens are present 4 so 4 of oxygen for oxygen it is 16 so just multiply 16 into 464 and 2 ones are 2 and uh, add up all this we get the answer is 98 amu atomic mass unit okay we shall move to the next one calculate the molecular weight of cuso4 5h2o and cu value is given as 63.5 s is given as 32 or oxygen is 16 so we know the molecular um, atomic weights mass numbers of this many for copper sulfur and uh, ox oxygen is given and which is left out we can find for hydrogen we know already and so molecular weight of cuso4 5h2o is equal to cu how many times it is written only once so 63.5 plus for s how much is for s 32 how many times s is there only once so write s only once then o oxygen how many times oxygen is present four times so four of oxygen it is 16 atomic weight of oxygen is 16 write 16 plus next term 5 of h2o so this 5 is common for h also for o also so 5 of you can put in the bracket 5 of h2 h is present twice so 2 of for hydrogen it is 1 mass number or atomic weight only 1 plus for oxygen only once it is written oxygen as 16 write that then in the next step simplify this this you can write as it is right here multiply this to as we get 16 into 4 is a 64 2 ones are 2 Two plus sixteen is eighteen. Write that. Then you multiply eighteen into five, gives us ninety. The remaining and all, as it is. 
then add up all this we get the answer as 249.5 atomic mass unit this is the answer so i repeat here if it is asked for descriptive type then you explain and you can write the formula also okay as i have shown in the first numerical otherwise if it is for multiple choice question you can calculate fast fast by substituting all these values don't be in a hurry but don't be late also okay next we shall move to the numerical calculate the molar mass of the following substances they have mentioned about molar mass don't get confused it's nothing but molecular weight or molecular mass molar mass all are same okay they have directly given hydrochloric acid hcl and sulfuric acid h2so4 the values of individual elements are not given here means atomic weights of individual elements are not given so we can substitute the values we have to learn by heart as i said this question is in the model question paper of gpsc exam 2022 of biological science question paper okay molar mass of hcl how many times h is present only once so what is for hydrogen atomic weight is 1 so 1 plus what is for cl chlorine it is uh, 35.5 okay so substitute the value you can sum up 36.5 is the answer atomic mass unit you can express in then next one molecular mass of h2so4 that is sulfuric acid for here two of hydrogen two ones are two here you can understand that okay two ones are two substituted here plus for sulfur it is 32 plus oxygen 4 of oxygen 16 so 16 6a 16 4a 64 and plus 32 plus 2 gives us 92 atomic mass unit actually you no need to write all this if it is for multiple choice you see here you can look here 2 1a you can just write keep in mind 2 plus for sulfur 32 plus 32 plus 2 is 34 plus here we will get for oxygen whenever we come across this 4 of oxygen 64 the answer 4 into 16 so you can add them and you write fast okay we shall move to the next one the molar mass of nitric acid is they have just given only one line okay and the answer will be given in case of multiple choice question the options like this especially this type of tricky questions and all will be for little higher in level so it will be for biological science students only okay for math science math and physics students it will be directly they will give the options or sometime the elements atomic weight will be given there okay this is also from the question paper the molar mass of nitric acid is dash so nitric acid formula we must remember recall hno3 okay so molar mass of hno3 is h how many times only once so what is the atomic weight of hydrogen so one for nitrogen it is 14 direct value plus oxygen how many times it is present three times so don't be in a hurry write four times and 64 you die right no check for this so three times of oxygen 3 into 16 gives us 48 48 plus 14 plus 1 is 63 atomic mass unit next one find the molar mass of calcium carbonate caco3 calcium carbonate so um, calcium carbonate calcium what is the atomic weight of calcium it is 40 plus again carbon 12 it is for oxygen it is 16 we know but how many times oxygen is present three times 3 into 16 multiply this to add them with 12 and 40 100 atomic mass unit we get the answer okay so i hope uh, it's clear for you practice with few more questions if it is available otherwise um, later sessions after we complete few important points from the syllabus we will take we will practice remember this atomic weight value and all before going for the exam you just have a glance and go so that will be in a uh, fresh memory it will be easy for calculations okay few tips and points you can make short notes and you can just glance before entering into the exam hall okay so in the following classes we will shall continue with maths and physics along with chemistry and biology classes also keep preparing for the exams If you like the video don't forget to give a thumbs up hence we will come to know at least you learn something from this video thank you thank you for watching